When you live in a finger pointing world, it's easy to say, that ain't my fault. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli where we educate, lead, and inspire. And here's the challenge. How do we get ourselves to become success seekers rather than failure avoiders? How many of us are here just to avoid failure? I mean there are people, and I see it in all walks of life, you see it in the schools where people say, oh I got to go to class instead of saying, I get to go to class, or I got to go to work instead of, I get to go to work. You even see it in politics, you know, it's like, you know, I never heard anybody say China the way a certain person says it nowadays. Everybody's a finger pointer, we're looking to avoid failure instead of trying to find the correct way. We wake up to an alarm clock instead of waking up, as Zig Ziglar put it, to an opportunity clock. It's all in how you see it. Your guiding force is how you communicate to others and most importantly how you communicate to yourself. So what does it mean to be eager? Well, Eli, my son, is eager for his birthday. He's going to receive presents, he's going to be the center of attention, he's going to get to eat his favorite meal. Me, I like my birthday too, although I could live without the blinding light of all those candles on the cake. I'm also eager to watch Eli in a school play or standing at home play or, and this is a sight I'd love to see, reading a book without it being homework, my goodness. I'm also eager to see Tom Brady in a Super Bowl or go to a Chinese food buffet and devour my meal in a giant Super Bowl. Now, do you ever hear people say that they are eager to be a better spouse or father or friend? How often do you hear people say that they're eager to live a better life, eager to have a better lifestyle, or eager to make a great contribution to mankind? Pardon me for saying this, but why the hell not? The reason is that most people tend to be wishers, wanters, hopers, and thinkers. And when I say thinkers, I mean ponderers, procrastinators. Where are all the doers hiding? Life becomes a constant game of hide and no seek. The why and because? It's, all too, it's a all too common phenomenon that it's too much work to inquire, to find out how, and to pursue an unknown pathway. Too often our focus is not to focus. Excuse me? Say what? What's up with that? You see, life is a series of choices. And most people, when confronted with the same questions each and every morning, respond apathetically. And frankly, I don't care if you don't know what apathy means. The questions are, am I here to merely exist? What is my purpose? How may I advance my cause so that it will have some effect? Unfortunately, you don't get to answer the other questions, questions one, two, and three, if your answer to the first question is, you're here to merely exist. The two most important days in a person's life are the day that they're born and the day that they discovered why. It seems to me that so many people live their lives without a Y chromosome. You know, statistically, your chances of being born are 1 in 400 trillion. That's a four followed by 14 zeros. Trillion. There's got to be some sort of a reason, I mean the logical reason why you, one in 400 trillion, won the lottery. Now some people see the things that they want. And some people see the things that prevent them from getting it. You've got to train your mind 
to get excited about stuff and not nervous. You've got to find your North Star. So many of us choose our path out of fear, disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never even dare to ask the universe for it. You can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. Become emotionally engaged with your dream each and every day. Every morning, make it a practice to imagine the payoff, the benefit, the contribution, the art, and the actions of that thing that you do. Because you need to ask yourself every day, are you doing busy work or life, life's work today? Would you rather live your life as a failure avoider or as a success seeker? And because we will never end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's get out there, find a purpose, seek success, and charge! I'm Eli's dad.